Welcome to one of the world's undiscovered phenomenons. It's called Half Moon K, and it's Holland America Line's very own private island in the Bahamas. Half Moon K is an idyllic castaway island boasting white sandy beaches which are lapped by calm crystal clear blue waters. It is owned by Carnival Corporation and PLC and is therefore exclusive to their own vessels but more often than not you'll find this incredible island featuring on Holland America itineraries as you would expect. Although there is some steep competition when it comes to other islands owned by competing cruise lines, Half Moon K is frequently rated as the best and in this video we are going to show you why. Half Moon K was formerly known as Little San Salvador Island and sits west of Cat Island in the Bahamas. It is around 100 miles southeast of Nassau and around 277 miles southeast of Miami. The island has two seasons, a wet season which runs from May to October and a dry season from November to April. The dry season conveniently coincides with the main months for Caribbean cruises. Half Moon K experiences breezy northeast trade winds, keeping this island pleasantly fresh even when in direct sunlight. You can expect temperatures to hover around 26 to 28 degrees in the winter and around 32 degrees in summer, but with very sudden heavy rainstorms which can arrive as quickly as they depart. Your cruise ship will anchor off the island and you will make your way to Half Moon Cay via a fleet of tender boats which ferry passengers backwards and forwards from the island every 10 to 15 minutes. As you near the island, you will see that Holland America have created a beautiful lagoon style river which takes the tenders to the jetty, giving tender boats much needed shelter from the elements and making visits to this paradise less challenging for mariners. As you disembark the tender onto the jetty, you will be pointed in the direction of the town square which features the Welcome Centre, where guests can ask questions and book shore excursions on the island if not booked already. If you have booked an excursion on the island, the Welcome Centre is where you will usually meet for all your tours, but do check your tickets just in case. In the town square, you will also find a variety of shops selling handcrafted local souvenirs, a bar, eateries and restrooms. The island is very well signposted and you are soon able to find your way around. The island may be 2,400 acres in surface area, but only 50 acres have actually been developed. The rest have been left for the wildlife to thrive, which is another characteristic that makes this island so special. When it comes to food and drink on the island, there is a pretty good selection. You'll find a handful of bars scattered around the island, and bar service is available on the beach, so you don't even have to get up. Something that is worth pointing out though, all drinks purchased on the island are chargeable, regardless of whether you have a drinks package or not. The reason for this is that Half Moon K has no working internet connection. Payment for drinks works the same as purchasing anything else on the island. You simply hand over your keycard, they'll provide you with a pink slip receipt and they bill your onboard account on the ship. Don't worry about exchanging money, this really isn't necessary. When it comes to food, you have a few different options on Half Moon K. You have the Food Pavilion, which is a large, sheltered, all-inclusive eatery serving hot dogs, burgers, nachos and salad, as well as Caribbean-inspired desserts and sweet treats including banana cake and key lime pie. From time to time and weather permitting, Holland America will also lay on a complimentary beach barbecue too. If you're feeling like splashing out on a lunch that you just can't get at home, look no further than the Lobster Shack. The Lobster Shack has a mouth-watering menu of grilled lobster tail served with rice, Caribbean coconut beans and pineapple salsa, or you can have a lobster roll and fries. Prices range between $5 and $24, and take it from us, it's worth it. Locally sourced and freshly cooked lobster, and eating lunch with this view, it doesn't get much better than this. You'll also find an extra charge ice cream parlour on the island for a small extra fee. When it comes to things to do on Half Moon Cay, it is impossible to be bored. Most people are quite content taking a dip in the sea or laying on a sun lounger reading a good book and taking in the views. One of the best features about Half Moon Cay is the powder soft white sand beach that stretches for more than 2.5 miles. It is certainly nicer than some of the beaches found on other private islands including Princess Cay, which has much coarser sand and rockier areas by comparison. The beach being so vast, you won't have a struggle finding a quiet place in the shade or sun, and you won't have a problem finding complimentary sun lounges and hammocks dotted around the island either. You can also book and hire clamshell cabanas through shore excursions, which cost us around $40 per couple for the entire day, however this price will vary by cruise. Another option available to you is hiring a luxury cabana on the beachfront in a prime location. 
They cost around $320 for four people and include air conditioning, table and chairs for dining, a refrigerator stocked with inclusive snacks and drinks, a ceiling fan, misting fans and snorkel equipment. If you are still seeking more, then upgrade to the private Oasis Cabana, where you'll get a luxury two-storey beach shack complete with iPod docking station, grill and showers in addition to the facilities and perks offered with luxury cabanas. You'll also receive a butler and have private use of the eight-person hot tub. Oasis Cabanas are designed for around 12 guests and costs are usually around $1,500 for the day. The number one attraction on the island is Stingray Adventure, which takes place at Stingray Cove. This excursion lasts around one hour, including commuting to and from the cove and listening to a safety and information talk by a professional guide. They then take you to a shallow area to meet and interact with the stingrays. You can expect to stroke the wings of these beautiful creatures as well as feed them. They are incredibly gentle animals, just looking for their next prawn to eat. So don't go fearing them, just enjoy the experience. There are a variety of different snorkeling tours available on Half Moon Cay, where they supply you with a snorkel, mask and fins, and a boat that takes you to the best spots on the island for snorkeling. Snorkeling can of course be done independently, however if you want to be guaranteed the best spots and have peace of mind that you are being guided by professionals, make sure you book your trip through shore excursions on board. Another must consider shore excursion is horseback riding, which is one of the most unique shore excursions you are ever likely to try. On horseback you will explore the lengths and breadths of the island along a winding trail to the highest points for stunning panoramic views and a great photo opportunity. This shore excursion costs around $100 per person and is very highly rated. Half Moon Cay offers a decent variety of water sports in the form of shore excursions or by hiring water sports equipment from one of the sports centres on the island. You can take part in parasailing, fishing, glass bottom boat rides, stand up paddle boarding, kayaking and of course jet skiing. For those that are a little less adventurous, you can also hire inflatables and water floats so you can just drift in the sun. Bliss. Another way to relax on Half Moon Cay is receiving a massage from a professional therapist from the ship in the air-conditioned cabana on the beach. The team of beauticians and therapists from the Greenhouse Spa will be able to offer you a selection of professional massage services while guests are on the island. These do get booked up very quickly, so best inquire as soon as you get on board. If you are an explorer at heart, then there are a few different options available to you. Why not consider a one hour tram tour, which takes you on a journey around the island showing you the very best highlights off of the beaten track. However, if you prefer to explore on foot, you can do so by taking a hike, either guided as part of a tour or independently. With only 2% of Half Moon Cay actually developed, there is around 2,350 acres of indigenous flora and wildlife for you to explore. There are a host of nature trails all over the island, either on hard pavement or sandy trails, which lead to Half Moon Cay's shore excursion start points, including Stingray Cove, Bonefish Lagoon, and the Pegasus Ranch, where they keep the horses used for the horseback shore excursion. The Cay has many nature trails which are perfect for spotting indigenous bird and insect species and you'll even encounter some fitness trails which boast outdoor exercise equipment for you to enjoy. Even though Holland America isn't traditionally a cruise line targeted at families and children, there are several facilities to guarantee a great day for all on Half Moon Cay. Whether it be the special Lagoon Aqua Park or the pirate ship on the beach which features spray water cannons and other fun equipment for children to enjoy. There is also a playground nearby for children of younger ages and there are small shops on the island which did sell bucket and spades to keep younger children occupied on the beach. Fancy getting married or looking to get your wedding vows renewed? You would struggle to find somewhere half as idyllic as Half Moon Cay. Getting married as part of your luxury cruise is a great way to have a truly memorable wedding ceremony without it costing an arm and a leg. When you disembark the tender boats at the jetty and walk towards the island welcome centre, you will see a beautiful white church built in Bohemian cultural style. Imagine getting married in the church, having professional photographs taken by the ship's photographers and having a reception on the island which you'll remember for the rest of your life. The rest of the cruise will be your perfect honeymoon. If this is something that appeals to you, it will need to be booked before your cruise and you will be required to submit all necessary identity and legal documentation. Half Moon Cay is a paradise and it certainly ranks as one of the best destinations we have ever visited on a cruise. There are other islands owned by competing cruise lines which offer a very different experience. Half Moon Cay is about as close as you can get to an island feeling remote and isolated from the real world. 
It's a chance to escape from the stress and responsibilities at home, fueled by no Wi-Fi and mobile data being virtually non-existent. While this might bother some, we found it rather wonderful. Half Moon K will appeal to those seeking a more relaxing and natural way to experience the Bahamas. To us, it doesn't get much better than this, which is why we immediately went and booked a two-week cruise on New Amsterdam for 2024, which visits the island not once, but twice. Thanks for watching. And lastly, a big thank you to our Patreons. Because of you, we can continue doing what we love with your extra support. If you would like to find out more about becoming a Patreon, click the link in the description below. In return, you will get extra benefits, such as early access to our videos, behind the scenes sneak peeks, Zoom calls, Christmas and birthday gifts, and much, much more.